I grew up in New, in New York City, and uh, I was, uh, there were a lot of Holocaust survivors in, in my community. And uh, my grandparents had all come from, uh, generically it was Tsarist Russia, but we know now t- today's Poland and, um, and um, Lithuania are where my, uh, my grandparents were from. And uh, when they came over, um, a lot of their family members stayed behind in Europe. And uh, we learned later that they were all killed. They didn't survive the war. And I didn't really know the granular details of the war. I mean, it was just sort of this generic thing. And there wasn't much, pe- people didn't talk about it. Mm-hmm. It wasn't spoken about. And if, especially survivors were not talking to their children about it. It was mm-hmm. taboo. They didn't want to hurt them. They were living their lives. They were working. They didn't want to burden their children. In 1981, year, how long ago is that? 40 years ago, I had a grant to go visit uh, Europe. And uh, I traveled around actually with a, a dear friend of mine who was, who was German. And um, I wound up in, in Paris and I was photographing with this very large antiquated equipment, an eight by 10 view camera on a tripod, you work very slowly. And I was focusing on trees in an urban environment to show the relationship of man and nature. I would walk around with my giant camera and I was photographing trees and I was noticing in the Marais these like schools that were still like operating as schools, but there were children, you know, kids' schools. And they would have a plaque and they would say something like, from this school on this date uh, in 1944, um, 86 children were rounded up and sent east and didn't return. You you know, so little little things like that. And I wound up in Père Lachaise, the famous, you know, large uh, Parisian urban cemetery. And I was photographing landscapes because it's a beautifully landscaped uh, building or uh, it's almost a park. And I happened upon a section of the cemetery where they had uh, memorials to the Jews of Paris who were killed. And th- what, what sort of caught my attention was, I mean, I'd heard of Auschwitz and Bergen-Belsen, but I really didn't know how many camps there were and how widespread they were. I had no idea. Uh, this is in the eight, you know, 1981, so there wasn't as much information about the Holocaust as we have today. And uh, so, so I began to photograph these monuments and, and one in particular caught my eye. It was a really beautiful one uh, about Mount Housen. And, and it showed a man struggling either up or down uh, uh, many, many, many steps. Uh, it was a stone monument and he's either going up with a stone on his shoulder or he's falling down. It's unclear. And I was like, Mount Housen, what's that? 